Now, I think that's Orange Hill in the background where I often uh, walk, but it's not where I am at the moment. I'm in at the woodland outside Mount St Joseph's, um, and uh, here's another uh, stone, Jesus, my cornerstone. Um, and if we go to second, no, first Peter chapter two, verses four to six or seven. Uh, we, we read about this uh, and it talks about how um, that Jesus was the, the stone that the builders rejected. Um, he, he was rejected by people. Uh, he suffered and was utterly shamed, uh, hung on a cross. Um, and yet he became the cornerstone, uh, the main stone from which the rest of the house is built. Um, without the cornerstone, you couldn't get uh, the the rest of the building. Um, and then it talks there also about um, us being built into that building, uh, where, where the stone's built into that. Uh, so remembering that the cornerstone was previously rejected and shamed and 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 killed and and just rejected by men. Let's remember that, and yet became the cornerstone. Let's remember that for ourselves. Uh, that, however rejected, dejected, uh, discouraged, um, just feeling useless, even that, that's maybe another thing of this season that we feel we're not able to function, uh, and that really gets to us because we know we're we're made for things. Um, however rejected and dejected we feel. We are the sort of people that God wants to use in the building. We are the stones that he builds into uh, his building uh, because it started off that way with the cornerstone, Jesus.